Lesson 10.1c, Model Real World Situations with Algebraic Expressions. We can use algebraic expressions to represent real world situations. We can look for clue words that tell us what action is taking place, which will tell us which operation symbol to use. When we have an unknown amount, we can represent its value with a variable. Remember, a variable is a symbol or letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown quantity. If we have 2 plus n is equal to 10, we know n must equal 8. And if we have 5p next to each other, this means multiplication, that's 5 times some unknown amount p is equal to 15, well, we know 5 times 3 is 15, so p must be equal to 3. And we can use any letter as our variable, but O and a lowercase l aren't typically used because they may get confused with 0 and 1. If we saw 5 O, it might look like a 50. And if we saw 5 lowercase l, it might look like 51. So we don't do this. We don't use these because they'll get confused. A constant is a specific number whose value doesn't change. Its value stays the same. It stays constant. So here we have a variable plus a constant. We have x plus 2. The value of the variable may change, but that 2 is always going to be constantly a 2. Tickets to a county fair are $18 per adult. Write an expression to show the cost for a group of adults. Well, the word per adult and group of are clue words. To multiply, we have 18 per adult. So we're going to multiply $18 for each adult. And group of, well, we don't know how many are in the group. That's an unknown quantity. And 18 is our constant. That's not going to change. But the amount of people in the group could be different. So we can use a variable to represent the number of adults in the group, x. The algebraic expression for the total cost of tickets is 18x for 18 multiplied by some unknown number, x. An algebraic expression can have more than one constant, and it can have more than one variable. This says adult tickets are $18 each, and children's tickets are $14 each. Write an expression to show the cost for a family consisting of adults and children. We can use the variable a for the quantity of adults, it starts with a, and the variable c for the quantity of children, children starts with c, so we'll just use a and c. It's not telling us how many adults are children. The algebraic expression for the total cost of tickets is 18a, that would be 18 multiplied by the number of adults, plus... 14c, that would be $14 times the number of children. So now 18 and 14 are constants, and we need two variables. We have 18 multiplied by the number of adults plus 14 multiplied by the number of children. Sarah made some bracelets. Then she made 25 more bracelets. Write an expression to show how many bracelets she has made. Now the word more is a clue to use addition. She made some then 25 more. The number of bracelets she made before is an unknown quantity. We just know she made some. So we use a variable. And we'll let n represent the number of bracelets she made before. So this 25 is our constant. This is our unknown quantity. And the algebraic expression for the total number of bracelets she made is n plus 25. We don't know how many made she she made before it was just some amount plus 25 we have n plus 25 Emma divides up some jelly beans to give to her six friends if J represents the total amount of jelly beans write an expression to represent how many jelly beans each friend receives and the word divides is a clue for division the constant is six we don't know how many jelly beans she started with, so we're going to use a j as a variable. It's some unknown amount. And the algebraic expression for the number of jelly beans each friend receives is j divided by 6.
Be careful with constants in division. The order of the variable and the constant is important. Is the variable amount being divided equally? Is the constant being divided equally? If we have a number of jelly beans divided by six friends, then jelly beans is the numerator and the six is the denominator. We're dividing the jelly beans up. So we had a problem we were talking about. Sarah made some bracelets before. Sarah makes a profit of $3.50 for each bracelet she sells. Write an algebraic expression to show the profit she'll make from selling the bracelets she makes. For each tells us to multiply the number of bracelets by the constant $3.50, or 3 and 50 hundredths. We're going to let B represent bracelets. It starts with B. The algebraic expression for her total profit is 3.50B, or 3.5B, because this zero is unnecessary, isn't it? Unless we're writing it as money. So 350 is her profit, and B represents the number sold. So if she sells one bracelet, then we'll do the 350 times one. She's going to have a profit of $3.50. If she sells two bracelets, we multiply it by two, that's $7 profit. And if she sells three bracelets, well then we multiply it by three. Now B represents three, and that means she'll have a $10.50 profit total. Our constant is this 350, the 3.50. That doesn't change, but the number sold our variable could change depending on how many she sold. We're going to move on to 10.2, which is split into three different parts, and 10.2a is about evaluating expressions. I hope this made sense to you, and I hope I'm explaining it well. What you're learning in this chapter is going to help you all through the rest of middle school and all through high school. So this is kind of important, so I hope I explained it well. Hit that like button if I did so I know. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.